Before I got pregnant, my body was very sexy. My breasts were very perky. And then once I had first daughter, when I was 19, things went down the drain. My breasts just went like bananas. You know, they drooped really and just, they were just like blah. So I decided to do something about it. And I did find a doctor that I had heard great things about. He had an unconventional way of doing the breast procedure. What he would do is go through your navel and put the implants in that way. No scars, like doesn't get any better than that. Two months after my surgery, my left breast was a bit firm. You know, it wasn't soft like my right one was. My left breast, it became a baseball. In the last year and a half, this thing has gotten so hard. Mm -hmm. It looks like a baseball. It feels like a baseball. It's a baseball. The reason why this is a high-risk case is thin skin and soft tissue with little blood vessels that aren't bringing in a lot of oxygen to the nipple and areola. If you start cutting around there, it cuts off the oxygen. That's what can make a problem for scar formation and even keeping the nipple alive. What? Like alive as in feeling like, good? Like, no, alive as in like... Like living. Like, like, like living, <laughs> like not turning black and falling off, like dropping you off. You have got falling to be kidding me. Mm -hmm. I would be dead too if that was to happen. Right? So that happens? That, that happens. That, that's a risk. Believe me, we have had people tell stories about how they had these exact procedures and they were in the shower and they looked down and their nipples going down the drain. I would die. What? Yep. Let's just say, you know, lay down down the line. But I need, you know, a better half and he could be sucking on this thing and boom, and nipples in his mouth? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine what is this? <laughs> Ew. Thankfully, that's not possible. For sham surgery, I will begin by making an incision below her areolas and removing her old implants. I will then elevate her pectoralis major muscle to create new breast pockets and then perform a capsulotomy on the left breast to soften the scar tissue. Finally, I will insert a new pair of breast implants before performing a breast lift and areola reduction. When I originally had my breasts done, I wanted nice, perky boobs. Unfortunately, I got what felt like a baseball just lugging around in my body every day. But tonight, I'm meeting up with a bunch of my girlfriends, and I'm super geeked because it has been at least five years since I have just really felt like getting dressed up and having fun.